aka what's up everyone rc84 here like always thanks for watching well my friends i have here the axio scx 10 2 raw builders kit now this vehicle is not going to be for myself i already have an scx 10 2 but this is going to be for my dad now i talked about this in my previous video dad learned rc i wanted to get my dad more involved in the hobby not just help me with my builds and the build of the park and everything but i wanted to get him more into it where he can you know be able to drive and, and go out with me or seeing now my dad has run a few of my vehicles before they're a lot smaller and slower vehicles and i wanted to see if he could run a 10th scale vehicle now i also explained in the video dad learned rc there that my dad suffered a master strike a few years ago that left him partially paralyzed on his right hand side so he has no movement in that right arm now, he's at a good state where he pretty much does everything on his own. He can drive to the store, walk, talk, not walk too far, but he can walk and talk and basically do everything that he did before the stroke, but with a little bit of limitations with no right arm movement there. So I wanted to you know, see if he could actually do this. So I got him a small enough controller that he could fit in his hand where he can you know, steer and throttle it. And I set him up on my SEX-10 just to see if he could do this. And we went back there in the park and uh, he had an absolutely blast doing it. It was so much fun seeing him RC. Uh, we had a great time that day. After I stopped filming there, I brought up my vehicle. We just started going all over the course there. And, you know, he would follow me. I would follow him. And he just had a great time. And I was like, now I know dad can do this. So I got to get my dad a vehicle. So I decided to get him the SEX-10 II Raw Builders Kit. And this was the perfect time to do so because my dad's 60th birthday is coming up. So this is gonna be his 60th birthday gift. Now I'm gonna make the agreement with him on this. I'm not gonna build a vehicle. He's gonna build the vehicle himself. Now, of course, I will be there like he always been there with me when I was doing my builds. He always helped me out by getting the parts and the screws and stuff like that. So I'm going to reverse the role on on him this time he's going to be building i'm going to assist him on whatever he needs help with so that's the agreement that i'm going to make with them i'm flipping the bill for the project but he's going to build it just like i build my vehicles and i think this is a great way for him to learn about the hobby a little bit more other than just seeing me doing it so i think that's going to be a great way for him and plus he likes uh working with his hands or hands <laughs> he likes working with his hands he's a very hand-on person and uh, he likes doing puzzles and stuff it's actually his daily routine every morning he'll do a couple games of solitary and a couple things of uh, word puzzles and stuff like that his that's his brain exercises there and uh, so I know he likes putting things together and he's helped me with a few of my builds of my RC vehicles I think like five of my bills he's helped me on so he's gonna be putting the vehicle together i'm going to assist them like i said and uh getting this vehicle built now i decided to go with scx 10 2 because i know this platform i know this vehicle i have an scx 10 2 which is sitting right up there and i know that platform pretty well so i can help them with this and uh, this is going to be a great way to spend some father and son time building uh, a vehicle just like normal father and sons do you sit out there in the garage and work on a car and stuff like that of course it's the rc room so we're going to be in here working and uh i think it's definitely going to be a you know a lot of fun and this way my dad can you know build a vehicle and he'll get to learn how this vehicle operates other than watching me do my thing so but yeah so i think this is gonna be good you know another reason why i'm doing this is to get you know like i said get my dad more involved in the hobby and where he's not just coming with me and watching me RC and watching my buddies RC, he can actually be a part of the group and run with us. And so that way he's included with the group, not sitting back, just watching us and stuff like that, and cracking up and joking and all that good stuff. But yeah, so uh, I think I made a wise choice on this. And I'll, uh, yeah, I just said, like, like I said, I think I did a, a good choice on this. Uh, spending some father and son time together, building an RC and having fun. Now, question is will I be filming this project the answer to that is no I won't be filming the project and here's the reason why reason number one is that 
I want this kind of be like a father and son kind of time together, you know, spending time with my dad and building an RC. And the second reason why is that I think it'd just be way too much confusion going on trying to help him with the build and you know filming with the camera and stuff. I think it'd just be way too much going on. I really need to put focus on him and the vehicle. So I won't be filming it, but I will do an update on the vehicle when we pretty much get it there and stuff like that. But uh, I'm super excited about this, my friends. Uh, it's, it's great to spend some father and son time. Uh, anybody can say that. It's great to spend some time with your dad or granddad or whoever raised you. It's great to spend some time with them and stuff like that. And this is going to be the father and son time. And like I said, this is the perfect time to do it because my dad's 60th birthday is coming up. And so I was like, yeah, this is the perfect time to do it. So, yeah. So there you go, my friends. So I hope that y'all liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. And make sure you hit that notification bell. So that way you can get updates on all my videos that I do here on the channel. So with that being said, my friends, thank you for watching. And I will see y'all in the next upcoming video. Thanks for watching.